Pikeville Fire Department has been working with the Kentucky Fire Commission to obtain a special training prop. They're using a prop helicopter to simulate one catching fire at a landing zone and learning how to tackle the situation. This scenario is extremely dangerous, yet the members of the department have the knowledge and tools they need. So today we're going to be doing the helicopter live burn prop uh, from Kentucky Fire Commission. Uh, we've been trying to get this for a while. It's pretty rare to see it in this area, but it's a good training to have. It's something that everybody should have. So in our area, we have uh, the airport and multiple alternate LZs uh, that's set up for the hospital. So most of what we deal with is uh, medical aircraft. Uh, there's different things to them, different hazards you got to watch out for, knowing where the oxygen is, where the fuel is, stuff like that. So there's a little bit of classroom portion that goes with that. Try to talk about it, try to understand what you're going into, uh, different parts of these helicopters and how they work and what's going to be easiest for us to deal with and how they function. Appalachian Wireless, where your connections matter the most. Right now, get up to $550 off select devices on new or renewed line with the Appalachian Unlimited or Mix and Mesh plan. Offer good in-store only. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. The prop is designed to ignite in the cabin and around the rotor via liquid propane. There are several aspects of fire safety to keep in mind when an aircraft combusts. This prop does provide a lot of adequate training for us. I think it is uh, pretty realistic as far as where the fire could happen. Uh, it has fire that comes from the rotors on the top of the helicopter, which is where the engine is gonna be located. And it also has fire that comes out of the passenger compartment where the pilot, uh, in the case of a medical helicopter, and where the patient and the crew would be. So it gives us both of those scenarios to be able to attack that at two different angles, and then we can do both of those at the same time to be able to learn how to attack both of them. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.